So let's go over a couple of the undo modes. So on the earlier HP calculators, you had the last function. So let's say I did an operation on this. So I did the square root of 48. And I go, oh, well, that was a mistake. I wanted last. Here, it leaves my value in the stack and then gives me my 48 back. I'm going to get rid of that number, so I'll swap and drop. Second uh, function that is here now is undo, and that saves a copy of the stack if you have it enabled in your mode. And when you do an operation, let's say between these two numbers here, 79 and 48, let's multiply them. And I go, well, I want those back. So I do undo, and that gives me my stack back, the 79 and 48, along with the two other variable or values that were in the stack. Now, one thing to note here is if I've got, um, say, 45, and then I go ahead and multiply that without it being actually in the stack. Now when I do undo, it recovers it to the previous iteration of the stack that was there, not with the value of the 45 that I hadn't put into it yet. So just keep that in mind. And then lastly is the command. So that is for operations that you enter either from your catalog or by typing out a command. So for example, Let's do 56, change sign, and then we go, well, we want to take the absolute value of that. So I can go to my catalog. I can go to next. There's absolute value. Whoops. I want to do fetch. And let's hit enter. And there we have 56. Now, if I wanted to retrieve that command again, I could just do shift, command, and it brings it back. Uh, for use. Now in this case, absolute value isn't going to do, many, do me anything, but you know, perhaps I could use the command twice in a row. So those are some operations for retrieving, uh, for command, for undo, and last, retrieving some number or command that you have used prior.